Yes, uh, five seven. Hear me, guys. Okay, uh, ticky noise. Supposedly, they think they have the Hemi tick, and I don't know why they're so fixated on this being a Hemi tick, seeing that this 125,000 miles, um, it's likely out of warranty. Now, before I even, it's, it should be cold right now. Let me start it up, guys. Let's uh take a listen to some right quick. We're gonna try to get to the bottom of this. All right, let me start this up. Oh, I can tell. Oh, y'all hear that? I can tell. Where's the hood? I can tell off the bat that it's not a Hemi tick. Y'all hear that? Ladies and gentlemen, that is a tick, but it's not. It's not from. Hey, it's on this side too. Okay, it's first thing in the morning, cold. That is not a lifter camshaft type tick. All right, guys, do not get fooled, do not get tricked, okay? That is merely, in my opinion, now you don't know for sure until you get in it, but I can almost certain that that exhaust stud, that nut in the back, in the rear of the cylinder head has come apart, has broken. Uh, it's a known problem with these okay now they have since redesigned the exhaust manifold I have seen one uh, on the newer model Hemi okay they um, they got a whole new manifold on it something about the way they was um, bolting up to the, the exhaust manifold and it's bolting up to the cat things like that but you see it you don't hear it no more right so hypothetically if this was a lifter or a camshaft tick noise it likely would still be there Look at that, the noise gone is my point. So, I suspect, uh, like I say, exhaust uh, bolts. I didn't get to the point, like I can I can tell that's the problem merely by listening to it. So, as far as, and when you do one side, you're doing them all anyway, so it really don't matter as far as verifying which ones broke, all right? <laughs> Yeah, some people would do like I, I I can hear it on this side here. Some people would just do that side. Some people sell both. I'm gonna get with the writer and find out how they want to deal with it. Okay, so guys, for now I'm a uh, I just dubbed this video something like uh, the difference between uh, Hemi lifter, not lifter, Hemi yes lifter camshaft valve train ticky noise or a hemi exhaust ticky noise they are two different things guys they sound totally different and they should be diagnosed differently all right all right with that being known and said that's all i have for right now guys stay tuned don't go anywhere man i'll be right back Ooh, right guys uh it's one of those tickers hemi ticking noise but it's not from valve train guys y'all heard the noise in the beginning of this video now, I had a couple of guys asking me, well, you showed us how to detect the noise. How do you fix it? And I had to explain to them that that wasn't a repair video. That was just to familiarize you with what type of noise it produces. Remember, guys, the valve train tick is totally different from an exhaust tick. Now, I have the shield off, as you can see. It's a little trouble to get that off. But once you determine what side it is, it could be either side. Just You can do this without taking the shield off. But simply grab right here always ones on the end okay as you can see that is loose so <laughs> this stud right here is broken the bottom one is on there pretty it's not moving so it's intact so my issue is going to be uh, right here my issue is going to be so let me take this shield off right quick and we'll get a closer look first let me take the whole cat off of the manifold in general all right, I don't want no trouble. I'm going to soak this with a little blaster or what have you. And uh, we're going to get this uh, manifold off. Let's get it. Oh, boy. It's going to be a long day, guys. In fact, it broke off all the way up in there. Oh my goodness. All right, I got to call for some reinforcement. 
a guy with a welder machine. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's see what I can get done. Um, let me go find my buddy. This looks like a job for the dip doctor. Hold tight, guys. I'll be back. All right, guys. I talked my buddy into coming over here with his Hobart welding machine. So he finna uh, work his magic. Okay, remember, we chasing this. All right. He got it all set up. I'm going to try to sneak and get some footage, guys. Y'all hold tight. I don't know what he have up his sleeve, but... Yeah, this is, a, I don't have a machine, and I'd much rather shoot him a couple of dollars to get it done for me. Let's see what happens. Stay tuned. I am done well we are done as far as uh the repair removing it here's the old one guys here's the this is the stud that was broken inside so uh i had to get my buddy over here the one that owned the welding machine guys there's a lot of things i borrow <laughs> from other mechanics but a welding machine is not one of them okay i just soon buy you lunch and have you come down here and do it and that's what we did okay that's we cool like that this is my buddy diff doctor okay yeah i don't mind paying him i mean he got to pay for the welding machine so that's what kind of friends we are so basically i mean normally he would put a nut on here weld a nut to it and screw it out but this one was uh it was in that flush y'all saw it before so he just welded a tat a tit on here and was able to literally just turn it out okay so <laughs> That's the best I can explain it because I didn't do it. I had to get him to do it simply because he has a welding machine and I do not. And I'm not borrowing his welding machine. Okay, so now we got a fresh head ready for a new exhaust. Uh, again, here's this. All right, here's my new, not new exhaust. We're not going to replace the manifold, guys. We're merely going to go on with, uh, where's my stuff? Okay, yeah, this... <laughs> if you see this yeah you know this is where it broke off this is the one that broke off in the end so i'm just gonna separate that but i'm gonna reuse the manifold all right not the gasket and i have here new gaskets and new bolts okay brand new bolts have loctite already on them uh i want to say the bolts are a little better i don't know uh because i for the life of me having figured out remember guys they all they all breaking right here at the end and at the end is right where the cat converter uh bolts up to it so i don't know if uh extra load hinging on this and due to too much vibration it finally snapped i don't know uh, it's not my job to find this engineer's job to find out so i'm gonna clean this off put a new gasket on it put my new bolts in and we'll be that noise will be gone guys y'all remember how the noise sound now the other side is not leaking but should you act proactive and do the other side i would do the end bolts on the other side guys i'm sure it's been vibrating and it's on its way out all right so if it was my personal vehicle yes i because all you got to do at this point is just literally take them out they're not broken so just take them out and go in with fresh new strong ones and if they just happen to have been working their way out and they finally vibrate and snap, you can avoid that, right? Especially on the end. So I would go on the other side and bzz, just screw them out and screw in new ones. Do you know how easy that is as opposed to waiting until they snap? All right, that is a tip, an online mechanic tip for you. If you're doing one side and your other side is not broken, go ahead and do the other side as far as the end. Put new bolts on it, all right? Yes, guys, that will work. Okay, guys, that's all I have. Uh, no need watching the installation. It's fairly simple, right? Yes. All right, so that's all I have, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. And I'll see y'all on the next video.